time to time, National Grid needs to access reserve electricity. And it might need to do that because a large power station has failed, or perhaps because electricity demand has peaked higher than was expected. And in circumstances like that, it's necessary to turn consumption down and turn generation up pretty fast in order to secure the electricity supply. So we provide a reserve service to National Grid using the assets people already own. What the energy users get and the generator owners get is revenue. Firstly, they get paid an availability payment for making their assets available, whether or not they're actually required in real, real time. They also get paid an energy payment, termed a utilization payment, for any energy that's required to be delivered. The flexitricity approach to balancing supply and demand in electricity networks reduces carbon emissions. It does this because securing electricity networks with, uh, with conventional plant by running coal power stations at part load so that they have somewhere to go up to or warming up the large old oil fired power stations just in case they're needed during a system peak, that's phenomenally expensive and it's possible to remove those emissions merely by harnessing standby generators, CHP generators when they're not on at the time and electricity consuming equipment and making that available as a reserve service instead. At the massive Excel Conference Centre in London's Docklands, Flexitricity has installed its system helping energy managers to control power use and earn money from spare capacity. The Flexitricity deal brings a number of things to us in respect that uh, it allows us to one, provide electricity back onto the grid and to, uh, let's be fair, it provide us with a revenue for doing so. Excel's quite uh, keen to extend its green credentials, so anything help we can do is, is obviously a plus. Once upon a time, you know, when we first started, we used to watch the generators running every time. We've now got to the point where we just let the generators run and we just know where they're going to happen. So, you know, it's going to happen because it's all being well managed by, by flexitricity, really. So how does the flexitricity model work? The National Grid pays Flexitricity to hold power in reserve and makes further payments when it's required. Flexitricity shares these payments with clients who own the generating assets. Standby generators need to be run regularly on load to ensure that they can provide reliable emergency power. All assets connected to Flexitricity's smart grid are monitored remotely so partners know immediately of any concerns. Every megawatt of capacity connected to Flexitricity's smart grid is a megawatt that doesn't have to be held in reserve. This reduces the need to keep coal and oil stations on hot standby or running inefficiently. Some types of renewable technologies can only generate electricity when weather permits. Electricity supply and demand must be kept in constant balance, so variations in renewable generation need to be matched by turning other energy generators up and down or by altering demand. At Thanet Earth in Kent, where giant greenhouses are home to vegetable cultivation on a massive scale, power management is very important. Here thousands of tons of peppers and tomatoes are grown for the supermarket sector. The vegetable growers can help the grid by cutting consumption, or by providing extra power from its plant in times of need. Behind me you can see a, a greenhouse of eight and a half hectares. We, uh, we grow uh, four varieties of uh, peppers here. As you can imagine, uh, the summer period, we don't need both engines running uh, continuously. So we, we declared ourselves available for a uh, store for flexitricity. When the, the national grid has got a high demand for power, flexitricity can externally on a, on a remote basis, switch on the, the engine that we've got here. We get a, a fixed income per hour that we're available, um, and when we do get called up uh, upon to run, we get an, an, a, higher, a higher charge, a higher fee. The crop requires carbon dioxide to make the photosynthesis process more efficient. Um, our CHP units produce electricity and CO2 during the day, and that's exactly when uh, the crop needs the CO2. However, the heat is not needed during the day. The heat is, is stored in a heat storage tank and then recovered at night. The larger varieties produce about 2 to 2.5 kilos per square meter, so that would be 25 tons of a hectare uh, per week. And the smaller varieties would do about half of that. 
the benefits of the relationship is uh, we are able to utilize our CHPs more efficiently. There is a benefit for the national grid because the national grid gets the electricity when it, it wants it. And uh, because of the, uh, the knowledge within Flexitricity, um, we are able to capitalize on that. The national cold store operator Norrish uses large amounts of energy to maintain conditions well below minus 20 degrees centigrade. Here at its Braintree plant, engineers are being briefed on how the flexitricity system works to reduce their bills and benefit the national grid. Across the group as a whole, um, an annual um, consumption is about 20 gigs and um, uh, we have um, been involved with flexitricity for a while now in, uh, in the case to try and control some, some of our fuel bills, our electricity bills. Our store is obviously a major draw on the grid and flexitricity basically switches off and um, so um, I think they call it a virtual power station where it's two ways, you know, with the grid you can either increase capacity in, going into the grid or reduce the demand on it mm -hmm. and we're part of the reduction in demand. As I said before, electricity is, is a major cost for us, it's our second biggest cost so um, anything we can do to cut electricity costs has got to be good, Liam. And a uh, side benefit from doing it is actually that um, we have got flexitricity monitoring our plants now so if we have a fault on the plants, flexitricity know about it, they pick up the phone, they tell us about it we can alert the engineers and they come up to site and, and resolve the problem. The smart grid concept enables industrial and commercial electricity users to help to balance supply and demand in the electricity system. That's our part of the smart grid, that's what Flexitricity advocates and does. If we do that, then it's perfectly possible for the renewable energy revolution that's happening now to press forward at full speed without creating a major crisis in energy security.